Hello, Next Community. So uh, many of you out there are probably like me. You know, you get a bunch of books or software. And as you can probably see in the background over there, you wind up with a bunch of different boxes. Some of them really good, some of them ratty. <laughs> and I've been selling a lot of books and software and buying a lot lately. And <clears throat> So I thought this might be a way in the future for when I have a customer that buys a bunch of books um, or software or both, um, cables, etc. Uh, went out and bought these baker's boxes. So I got a bunch of them. And it's going to help me organize all these different cables and stuff I have on my shelf. So I'm kind of on an organization trip. And I thought, you know, um, I've got... Uh, a couple helpers, so I thought I'd make a video to show them, you know, how to assemble one of these things, because it's a little, you know, there's a learning curve, and maybe it'll help you guys out there as well, so you get your banker's box in, and then you have the lid, okay, and uh, these would be good for, say, magazines or books, and they're pretty reasonable on Amazon. You know, I bought, they sell like 30 box bundles. And these would be great for moving too because they're kind of right size for small. You can get all different sizes as well. And I mean, a bundle's really not too bad. You know, you may be paying a buck or two a box. And they're really sturdy. So let's see if I can figure this out for you. So you want to look for anything that has kind of this line. And then that means that you got to be careful. You don't want to rip it. You just kind of press along there and pull, and it should separate, right? And it looks like this side's already done. So then here comes the tricky part, because you're going to go, okay, now where do I go from here? So this bottom part, this is going to be your bottom. You're going to want to flip it in on itself here, right? And you go all the way in. Then these two, you bring these two tabs in like this. And if, in fact, let me bring this back out because I have a feeling this other tab is a little bit thicker. So you're going to fold them in like that. You're going to press it all the way in. <laughs> Famous last words, right? Let's see here. Make sure these are flat in here. And it's going to go all the way. Ah, jeez. <laughs> Easier said than done. Okay. So, we've got that one in. And then you're going to want to go in with this one. So, it looks like this, right? Then, you come in here. And you're going to press the one with the tabs down first, right? So you go down first. <laughs> there you go. So now that I've loosened it up, then you pull these two to the side, like that. I didn't say I was great at this, but if... if uh, an imbecile like me could do it. <laughs> it gives people hope. <laughs> so then you fold that back down. That gives you the nice sturdy bottom, right? Now, for your... You guys are like, oh boy. So, <laughs> well, if anything, it'll give you guys confidence. So these little tabs are going to go in. I suppose I should have broke those loose. Oh, God. There we go. So it seems to be easier if I just fold that down just a little bit first, then break that tab loose, and then you're going to be able to come back, and that'll give you a little bit extra gripping strength here. Do the same for the other. Kind of learn it on the fly. I thought if I did this right away, because I'm a noob, I got that one assembled. And that one took me a little bit longer to figure out. And I'm assuming by, uh, you know... Box 30, I will be flying through these. But I thought showing it, you know, right from the start, 
me not being an expert at it, it kind of gives you an idea, you know, this is an honest, you know, I, I'm not perfect. Okay, so this is the top. You want to look for these little slots here, break them loose. Okay, and I believe we just kind of go like this. So we're going to fold these ends in. Uh, they didn't come with instructions either, so I thought I'd make this video. Because they're like, well, people should be able to just do this. And to some extent, you know, people figure it out. And then we're going to come in like this. And I guess you could kind of pre-fold some of these too. But as I say, I'm just kind of winging it. <clears throat> you got your boss, boss breathing down your neck. I need you to make these boxes <laughs> faster and file all this stuff. <laughs> so now I can point about this video. So one done. Uh, let's see what my time looks like. Not horrible. I mean, that's six minutes. So uh, I guess the true test is let's see how I can do with the second one. And let's see if the top fits on here. You guys are like six minutes of our life we won't get back to. All right, you got the timer on? Do, 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 do. <laughs> you can always just fast forward, too. Okay, so we're going to go method to my madness. Break this thing loose. And I think if I start, if I kind of loosen things up a bit, too, it will help. Break this one loose. Fold it over. Might as well get our hand holds while we're at it, right? Either side. I like these, man. I should have done this years ago, and I've actually received books of these things, and I never thought about, well, you know, it's about time. So uh, it's a little arts and crafts project. So you could get the, uh, the youngsters involved if you have youngsters out there or your interns. Give them something to do, you know, and uh, kind of get stuff uh, filed out there. So I think we determined that going in first with this one, I'm not sure if it makes a, a real difference. And then this one, I think it, it maybe does because this one's a little bit thicker. And then the key is just kind of getting it by this corner here. Because this is like the, the point of no return. And then we're going to go all the way down and then come back, make sure that they don't start folding up under stuff. So we got our flaps there. No pressure, right? Okay, that's great. Perfect. Okay, so we got that sucker in. Now we're going to fold it back. Pop these two ends up here. I probably should go slower, but I'm under pressure, right? <laughs> okay, so now we got that in, and then drop our bottom in. And I'm sure there's people that are out there that are like, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> it's probably a challenge now. How fast can you make a banker's box? It's probably good. Like, can you see those pizza box guys? <laughs> Do a stack of like a hundred pizza boxes in like record time. I'm not one of those guys. <laughs> All right. So we got our top. And we got to be, what, six minutes? All right. There we go. This, 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 and this. Got it down to science. And then we're going to come back here. Flip and fold. That's one edge. That's the other. And I'm not sure if you can see all that on, on the camera, but okay, there we go. That one actually came out pretty good. And I used the box that they came in here as a little table. That seemed to work out pretty good. Check all four corners. Good enough for government work, right? <laughs> all right, everybody, have a good day. Ooh, he beats his time by over a minute. I imagine by the time I start doing, I got a bunch, of, like 30 of them in there. 
So I'll be able to just show my two assistants, hey, this is how you do it. And then that way they will have the video so I can get on to other projects. But um, cool stuff. And I hope it helps somebody out there. Have a good day.